Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a plan with me for the week of the end of January and the first week of February. Last week I did a plan with me using the Odd Loop Disney Villains Kit and I loved this kit so so much if you guys haven't picked it up i definitely highly suggest it i love the odd loop kits i love their paper oh it's so bright and it's just so beautiful uh but this week however i'm going to be using the Boba bear studios tattooed mermaid kit and when i you know picked up on the website i was kind of like on a pbc sale high <laughs> and i was like oh you know what this looks cute but oh my god once i got it it is beautiful i'm obsessed like i'm so glad i picked this kit up i'm obsessed with bubble bear stickers and their kits also i will be using a couple different washi tapes from my own personal stash i'm going to be using kind of like the teal ish colors um and so we're just going to begin and i'm going to go ahead and take all the date covers i do love that this could cut when date covers i didn't even expect that um but that was just like an extra bonus then i'm going to go ahead and take the bottom washi and add that to both sides of the kit just to kind of you know get a you know ratio of where my bottom end will kind of be and then i'm just going to turn back to the beginning of the week and i'm going to start on um all the kind of headers i like to rotate off mine since they're like colored so i'm going to do today or to do no yeah to do yeah today's to do's and today's um just kind of rotate it off so you have like the red and the blue and the red and the blue um and then i'm just kind of gonna based off of what i have to do just switch up the pattern a little bit and not everything's gonna be like you know structured and you know the same all the way then I'm taking one of these strips of washi from the actual kit. And if you'll notice that washi, and in general, I feel like the kit kind of meshed with like the background of the planner week, the kind of like um, watercolor. So I kind of like it all kind of fell in sync together. I used a half box and then a to-do sticker strip of washi. And then I'm going to put down a checklist. Uh, I definitely, I love checklists. And then I'm going to go in with my washi, a little bit of like teal and gold hearts, which I think really, really, well with this color scheme and i'm actually going to double layer it as like its own little background in preparation for this kind of like a strip that i can write on and i'm going to add on there for my meals so they have a little fork so you can use that for whatever you want and then they have a little added extra so that's going to be my meal sticker then I'm going to take another strip of the thick teal washi underneath that just to add a little bit of the color blocking and then so you don't see the background like Erin Condren kit, I'm going to, you know, put in another strip and add that as my TV time. Then I'm going to go in with kind of like a checkered teal, white and checkered for another strip to separate. And kind of going to use that um, half box to measure off where I'm going to put the bottom part of that washi. And then just kind of place that underneath that. And I'm using my Victoria's Secret, any type of card to help just like rip it off. And on that, I'm going to add the Coffee Monsters Co. YouTube sticker because I'll put down whatever videos I'm doing. And then I'm putting a Bubble Bear um, Wash a Dishes sticker because that's definitely something I feel like I have to do a lot since I do a lot of cooking. Definitely got to keep up with my dishes. But if I don't have too many, you know, I try not to do it. But beginning of the week, sometimes Mondays, if I cooked on Sunday and I was lazy, I definitely have to, you know, try to wash as many dishes as I can. Didn't just planning my YouTube videos and then, you know, what I was going to have for dinner that day and then catching up on some one tree hill this is like the hundredth fiftieth time i don't even know i've watched it but i was i was feeling it then i'm adding a bubble bear studios mona sticker just to remind myself that it's back to work I'm not that excited about that and adding some um, items that I need to do for the day, just a couple of to do's of my checklist. Um, and then just, you know, so I can get that done. Usually if I don't do my half week post on Sunday, I'll try to do that on Mondays. And then I wanted to try to do, start the week off a little mask Monday. And I added one of my Fox and Cactus um, little face mask girls. I love those so much because I definitely want to keep up with my skincare, especially in the winter time when I'm really, really dry. Going on to Tuesday, I'm adding a checklist since I started with the half box on the a Monday. And then I kind of used a white out just to white out that strip of the Erin Condren planner just so you wouldn't see it through the washi. And I added my own washi and then I added a bit of the full box deco of the mermaid. Going back in with that white out and whiting that out. Um, and then I'm going to go in and add my other washi as well since the washi is a little bit lighter and I don't want it to see through. It just looks a little bit cleaner so I kind of like that trick. And then going in with a strip of washi from the kit. 
and I'm going to take a um, another one of those little like quarter strips, and that's going to be my other uh, dinner stickers. I decided to add a little bit of pop of red on this one, just kind of like mixing up the contrast of the colors, and then adding that same type of strip underneath the half box. And then here I'm just kind of trying to adjust it so it kind of was like actually I'm going to pull it down a little bit so that'll be like the other like part of the strip for the other item that I'm going to put underneath. And then in that half box I'm going to put a Fox and Cactus Kawaii Workout Girl. I love her workout stickers and I love that she came out with these little pink haired ones. It's like oh, I wish she came out with those. Um, So those are kind of like exclusive so I'm hoping she comes out with them again. And then underneath that I'm going to put another half box and a Coffee Monsters Co. little laptop guy. And you know after I go to the gym just gonna upload some videos edit and upload some videos to my beauty and to my planner channel then just going in to my to do's and adding a couple things I need to do since I will be having some chicken noodle soup the next day I'm gonna just try to prep the veggies and everything and then I'm adding a fox and cactus this is actually from their like new year's release kit but it's also like you know works for like celebrations and stuff and so it's fox and cactus birthday releases so I'm just noting that on there I think it was actually February 1st but I had to put it in my Chicago time so it's actually like the day like 7 16 hours before 14 hours <laughs> and then um just checking what bills I have due because I did put a bill due like ale bill due <laughs> stickers um from the kit so I'm adding those I added just a whole like strip of deco full box and then just added those two stickers on top so it's like washi layered on the bottom then added a, a this and that sticker just because I like the kind of contrast of the light teal and I actually cut down a oh no I think she does have like the three boxes of the uh, what is it checklist so she had a variation so that was kind of cool so for those of you who like to cut down they're already kind of cut down for you or you can use a whole box of checklists then I just kind of like went in with my checkered washi the really really thin one as a background for my um, quarter box and then I'm putting on there the little fork and the spoon so that I can plan my meals and then I'm adding a strip of washi from the kit and then the coordinating strip so I'll kind of put the, the sticker on top not fully lay it down just so I can measure out where I'll need to put it and then on the opposite end I'll put the TV just so they're not all stacked on top of each other just to kind of give it some variation and a little bit of balance to the kit. And then putting a thicker strip of washi underneath before I place the half box. And I'm gonna put that on top just so we kind of have coordinating patterns. And then I'm taking one of the Once More With Love, one of their new releases for their workout little munchkins. Um, then adding that on there and then I'm actually this is a full box and I'm kind of trying to measure out like where I need to cut it so I can just use it as like decor background as a half box so I'm gonna take my pen and I'm just gonna mark where I need to cut it and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my scissors probably like show you guys more I always forget to like do everything on camera <laughs> but I'm just cutting that in half so I can just you know utilize it a little bit better and then I can kind of use that pattern somewhere else on the other half of the page so just making the most out of your stickers trying to get a little bit creative with it and I just love that background so much I think it was so pretty so I wanted that as a background and then I went ahead and I took um one of her quarter strips and then I took a pumpkin paper co like the little um girl on the desk I wanted to kind of mix up my coffee monsters co like my edit and upload like working stickers so I switched to a pumpkin paper co and then I'm just adding my bills that I need to do, my Macy's, and then, of course, the student loan stickers. So I'm just noting that on there. And then I added a bubble bear, you know, just like an impressed bear to kind of, you know, because that's how I feel about my student loans <laughs> and just bills in general. Adding, catching up on some more One Tree Hill. I think I'm probably like season two here. Right now, currently on season three. And, oh, if you know One Tree Hill, you know what happens on season three. And then I'm adding that I'm going to go work out with my friend at the uh, gym. And then I turned over to the Thursday. And under that to-do, I'm going to start off with a check the whole checklist box for that day and then I'm going to go right in with the strip of washi for today so I'm going to get a little bit more decorative usually when I do a checklist try to do like some hat boxes and some other more like decorative stuff then I'm just going in with my a washi strip my little heart shaped um, washi strip and adding that underneath the today's and kind of like doubling it so that I can create its own little background in preparation for one of those um, quarter boxes and adding my dinner sticker for the day 
And then I just went ahead and wrote down the day numbers, dates <laughs> on the header just so I wouldn't confuse my days because I was kind of starting to do this. I go write the numbers down. Then I'm going back in with that other like full box that I cut in half and I'm adding another pumpkin paper cold girl on top of it, one of those quarter um, boxes just so I can note on there that I will be editing and uploading for the day. Then I'm just going in with my Inkjoy gel pen. P.S. That was the one I was using before I forgot to mention which pen I was using. But just writing down that for dinner we will be having some chicken noodle soup. And I'm pretty sure this was leftovers because we did have chicken noodle soup the day before. I always like try to cook extra so the next day we can just kind of like heat it up and just come home and eat instead of having to prepare a whole meal. And writing down that I will be editing and uploading. Then actually I decided to switch it up a little bit and I went because I, I just wanted a little bit more like color scheme. I don't know. Just didn't feel right so I went ahead and added that this and that and then went back in and added that little block with my pumpkin paper co-girl and then I went ahead and grabbed a strip of washi from the kit the watercolor kit I decided to use that color just to switch it up a little bit and then I wanted to go with a half box and use kind of like the same coordinating strip of washi underneath that and just kind of trying to Make sure it's straight. It's always the hardest part. Make sure it's straight because if one's off, then you can kind of like ruin the rest of that whole little like day, the whole strip of that day. You <laughs> know, the rest of it's going to go crooked. Then going in with another once more with love, a little filming munchkin and just writing that I will be, you know, um, filming my February monthly kit uh, and uh, my plan with me basically for my planner channel. Then I added a strip of washi and I'm adding a quarter box on top of that. So I have like in between, squished in between those both washies. Just trying to make sure you can see the one on top. And then I'm going to go in with one of the TV stickers. But I'm putting on the other side since we kind of have like a lot of stickers on that left side. And then underneath that I'm going to add another strip of washi and another quarter box. And on that opposite side just to kind of give it some balance. Using another Bubba Bear stickers wash the dishes kit. And this one I just did a little bit of background. Um, the other one I left it white because, I mean, you can kind of like balance it out some white space. And then I'm just going ahead and writing down my to-dos. Um, I feel like I always write down receipt filing because I'm trying to come up with like a really good system to keep all receipts for like expenses and stuff, for, mostly for like my beauty um, videos, uh, especially after maybe if, yeah, so I'm just trying to come up with that. <laughs> and then I kind of keep it empty, like, a lot Thursday, Friday, because as the week goes, I kind of, you know, just add my checklist, what I need to do throughout the week as I think about it. But there's definitely some things I'll try to add that on there. Going into Friday, I'm going to start off with a full box deco of the Tattooed Mermaid. And then I'm taking another full box decorated sheet. And I'm showing you guys that I'm actually, I'm cutting that in half. And I'm going to go ahead and take the Kids Payday sticker. And I could have just left it like that, but, you know, it's payday. Let's celebrate. And I added one of my Fox and Cactus um, hip-hop girls, paydays, ballin', you know, bills all over the place because, you know, it's payday. Live like kings, live it up, and then, you know, have ramen the rest of the week. No, <laughs> and then I'm just going to go in. I'm checking through some of my stickers. I was like, mm, we need a little bit of something extra there. So I decided to grab one of my little epic um, stickers, my little coffee stickers, because, you know, Fridays are usually my coffee treat day. And especially, you know, if it's payday, I definitely got to buy myself a little coffee to brighten up my Friday. Then underneath that, I'm going to start off with a to-do um, header. And underneath the to-do header, I'm going to go ahead and take um, a checklist. I'm going to take a full checklist for that. Then I'm going to take a strip of washi from the kit and add that underneath my checklist. And I'm going to take that um, washi tape because I'm going to use this as the background for my next sticker, of course. And I'm just going to kind of um, double it up a little bit just to give it a little bit of a thickness. And then when you kind of place the sticker in the middle, you won't see that line dividing it. And it'll just kind of go as its like own background. But I'm going to use that um, quarter box in between the two different washies. And I'm going to add my a dinner sticker for the day so I can plan that out and then underneath just right on top of the whole strip of washing I'm going to add my tv sticker and then I'm going to take another full box I love doing this with the full box and I'm sorry you can't see it but I'll scooch it down a bit but basically I'm putting that both on Saturday and Sunday uh just to give it like kind of background and I'm adding the banner on top of that just to you know give a little something something you usually don't need like a whole box so I like to take when they have like full out decorated boxes 
underneath that I put a today header and then I use that other strip of washi that I cut in half as a background for the start of my Saturday and a strip of like a really thin washi I like using little strips um, and I put a pumpkin paper go running girl and the fox and cactus little husky I love using those together because then I can write on there you know just something really simple that I need so I can definitely use that on top of like more like decorated backgrounds like these so that's a nice like fun little way to kind of mix it up in case you don't have like you know any more like half boxes or anything because I do love half boxes let me know if you're a fan of the half boxes I love half boxes but I also like doing this too as well or take a strip on top of a decorated sheet and I can just kind of write on it what I need to do and then I went in with some of my own washi and I added a little bit of a background border in preparation for this half box that I added the Coffee Monsters Co. YouTube sticker. I had us actually had pre-prepped it. I was going to put it somewhere else. Um, but then I realized, like, you know what, let's save this. And we'll probably use this, you know, right here for the Saturday stickers. I always try to do either film or edit and upload some sort of videos on the weekends and take advantage and just try to catch up. Underneath that, I put a today header. Then underneath that, I used a checklist and added one of the laundry stickers. It's actually bigger and it took up two spots, but then I figured I do want to wash my clothes and my blankets. Then I used a once more with love um, friends stickers because I was going to be doing some shopping with my friends. So I wanted to use those. I figured I was like, should I have used the shopping ones? But I was like, okay, no, you're going with someone. Let's go ahead and take advantage. Then I added two strips of washi for the border for the quarter box so that I can add my dinner sticker and underneath that. We were going to have a movie night, a couple's movie night at home. Just, you know, hang out. It's cold outside. So I was like, we're not going to go anywhere. And then I took out my Once More With Love Star Wars stickers. And I tried to decide which one should I use. And at first I wanted to use Luke and Yoda. But then I was like, you know what? We're going to have a lot of Star Wars nights. Let's just use Luke this time. And I wanted to write on there with my pen, um, Star Wars. This was going to be episode six. We have one left. We pretty much finished the order in which we were doing it. And we'll probably start watching it again at the end of December when, what is it, the eighth movie comes out. So basically, usually towards the winter, it's when we watch Star Wars all over again, all of them. And, you know, each year you got to add another one. Then I went into Sunday and I added the today header and that um, half box or that box that I turned into a half box of deco. And then I took another thin strip that the Bubba Bear stickers kit had. I kind of like that they had those so I can do this layering that I like to do. And then I took it once more with Love Munchkin, a cooking one because I do love to cook breakfast on Sundays. It's like our time together we both have. Um, so I I've come around to breakfast a lot. I was never once a breakfast person, but I do love it now. Then I went ahead and took a thick strip of washi and I added the to-do sticker header on top because I kind of wanted some space in preparation for the next sticker layering I was going to do. So I added another strip and then I added that pumpkin paper co running girl and my fox and cactus um, husky so I can write in there that I was going to be running with my dog but you know kind of you know layered over some space instead of you know just a little some some. Then I did a three um, heart checklist underneath that um, just so I can write a couple to-do I needed to do definitely groceries and then I was like what else do I need to do on Sunday but well, we'll figure it out during the week and then I quickly went back to Saturday real quick and I added a fox and cactus shut up and take my money sticker because stick with me shop was going to be having a like mini pre-sale which I have yet to order from stick with me shop I was about to this time because I hear it's like really hard like you have to be like die hard on it and I was on it uh because it was a pre-sale so you basically were gonna have like 20 minutes but I wish I could have like there was more things on there for me I was like oh should I should I not so I kind of didn't do this time do I regret it maybe I probably will later um we'll see though but you know what at least I was on it this time <laughs> then I went in with some strips of washi and I took a half box and then I took a filming munchkin and then also an edit and uploading munchkin I figured it was Super Bowl Sunday so my boyfriend was going to be out so I figured I would take advantage and try to catch up on filming some beauty videos that day and then uploading as well so I was like okay let me catch up film edit edit upload film and then I went in with a half box and took a pumpkin paper coal. I love that she came out with these planner sticker girls because, come on, we love planner stickers, so we need a sticker for that. And so I added that on the half box, and then I added that other deco sheet and a strip of washi, and then I added the pumpkin paper curl, a girl, weigh yourself, which I won't be showing that number, but, you know, just trying to keep track of that, trying to do that um, towards on Sundays. Then I went back to the sidebar so I can do that. And I went again ahead 
with the um, white out just so I can take off that flag and then I went in with a strip of that mint green washi and here I'm just taking some of the habit trackers so I'm taking my first habit tracker and then I'm going in with another strip of that mint washi I like how thin it is so it's just kind of like a little bit perfect for it and I'm adding that on top I'm taking the red habit tracker and then I'm going in with my own washi to create another kind of separation blocking of the next item I'm going to put on, which is going to be one of the to-dos. I, I love saving like a to-dos or there's next week's, you know, just so you can kind of have like some things that you want to do, but you don't know when, but you want to get it done that week. <laughs> and then I added another um, checklist. This one I added a full checklist just so I can have as many things as I kind of need to keep track of. And then I went in with that checkered washi. And underneath that, or on top of that, I took a quarter box in here. I just made my own kind of header for the next um, checklist. And I put to buy. Because sometimes there's things like, okay, I need to buy this week. And I just kind of got to remind myself. And then I took a checklist. So this kit came with a lot of checklists. And I love that she gave you a variation. Um, and then here, I actually wanted to chop it down just one. Just so I can make um, room for what I was going to put underneath it. Which I went in with some washi. And then I was like, what should I put down here? Um, so I went in with a half box and I added a fox and cactus girl, her um, happy mail girl. So because I wasn't expecting some packages. So I can just remind myself that, OK, I have these coming in just so I can kind of track those and see um, when they would be coming in that week. Then I'm just going into the sidebar and just adding. I wanted to keep track of my skincare, so face masks specifically. Um, wash your face every day, but you know, a little extra prep skincare. And I wanted to keep track of like how many days I did cardio. I want to try to do running. Going back in and just filling up some to dos that I need to do, pretty much. And I pretty I used a good amount of stickers. I still had some left. I went in and added the grocery stick, uh, grocery stickers. But there's a bunch. There's a couple. I definitely can save those checklists for something. Um, but that is the completed spread. I love this kit so much. I hope you guys pick it up. I hope she comes out with way more. I just I'm obsessed. Um, Bubble Bear stickers is definitely Bubble Bear Studios is definitely a new obsession of mine. I hope you guys like this video make sure to subscribe to keep up with some more videos on my planner channel and I will see you guys next time